welcome to The Nail Engineer and today we've got the lovely Hannah who is sporting this darling little bee um, manicure which is real adventurous with her fingers. So when she said that she wanted gel bottle V89 um, but that she wasn't sure like kind of what to have it with she wanted something maybe a bit geometric and edgy because she loves her geometric and I knew that she liked the geode look so basically I planned this mani out because she loves the bees around um, a couple of plates that I found this one here is clear jelly stamper um, CJS 28 and it's called Geolicious um, and it's got these awesome kind of honeycomb patterns here um, and this one here is actually a bundle monster plate um, so this one I think is called Midnight Dreary and it's BMS 241 and I've used this B image here and all of the stamping is done with model zone um, I got the wrong polish out it's chrome rose that you need for this stamping and you can see here what I've done is I've used that um, hexagonal kind of background here and here full coverage and just a little partial um, the B from the um, bundle monster plate and this glitter that we've got on here is Glitter RD and this has got to be my favourite glitter in the universe. If I was stranded on a desert island with just my nail case minus all my glitters and I could only choose one, this would be it because it's so nice. And it's got big hex pieces and little hex pieces and fine glitters in there as well. And then if we just go under the thumb again, because Hannah likes her geometric um, and she likes a, a kind of contrast of texture, I've just done like a kind of a random glitter fade, I would call this, where I've just hand placed the pieces of glitter to look like honeycomb, just in a kind of like random area on the nail. So, and then finally we've got this finger here, which is just shattered foil. And basically all I've done is I've just taken some holographic rose gold foil and I just smashed that onto the tacky layer of my second coat and then double top coated. And as with the stamping, if you're working with pigments and additives, etc., etc., it's always good to double top coat. Onto the thrust of this video, and this video is really to show you how to make this. And some of you might have seen my previous um, rose quartz um, nail video. What I've done is I've used a similar technique on this nail over a, one of my signature paperweights. This pop here I produced using the same technique as the rose quartz except the only thing that I didn't do was add like a shimmery layer and that's because this is supposed to be new jade. Um, new jade um, is like a, a slightly different green to traditional jade. It's more this kind of like olivey toned um, and it has probably a, a bit more kind of like striations in it. But basically what we've got here is a paperweight nail using this copper leaf and builder gel. And then over that I'm using first a coat of dark grey and that's charcoal grey by pure nails so that's halo gel polish and then a coat of perfect white and then of course i've got my gel bottle v89 which is what the rest of the fingers are wearing and then we go in with our acrylic paint so i'm just wiping off just to make sure that there's nothing on there and i've got my miss you clear builder gel which i'm just going to get a really 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 small bit of just really really small so all I want to do is I just want to scrub this into the surface of the nail and the only reason I'm using it is to give my copper leaf something to grab onto now if as I have just done you get a little bit on the skin just make sure that it's not kind of swipe it off there make sure that there's not like a, a connection between whatever was on the skin and the nail. You don't want to like leave a connection there. So that's all it takes basically. And this is really easy. I'm not gonna show you all of the placement of this. I'm just gonna do like a few strategic bits um, cause I'm sure you can figure it out. The one thing that I will say is that I want to give this depth. So I'm not gonna be putting them down flat. I'm gonna be putting them on at an angle and kind of scrunching them a bit 
because I want to get that kind of like height. Now already I can see that's way, way, way too big a piece. And you just want to kind of like randomly place these around the nail. If you can get them to come off your tweezers, of course. Yeah. And just like so. And that's quite a meaty bit. That's okay. You can kind of like spread it around on the nail. It's really, really fragile stuff. So like you can kind of in pulling it, you can kind of tear it in half, which is good. So basically, I'm just going to do this, lay them on and make sure that when I look on a side view, that the pieces aren't too kind of high up and that any height that I do have is concentrated towards the apex so that I'll be able to get that encapsulated with my gel. Okay, so we're all cured up now and you can see there that we have indeed got some height and dimension on this and I don't want to lose that. Now normally what you do is you get like a, a blob and just encapsulate the whole nail but what I'm going to want to do is something a bit strange that you wouldn't normally do and I want to get little ropes and I want to be ever so gentle because just see how that's lifting it's so fragile this stuff so what I'm doing is I'm kind of like setting down in an area that hasn't got gold leaf on and then pulling the thread around to just kind of in and out the dusty bluebells just weave through these flakes and that's to give the kind of upstanding parts something to support them and to basically kind of give them to some, something to anchor into and once I get this it's almost like giving it a skeleton and watch out for any bits on the skin so I'll just put down in that area where I'm not going to be squidging and squashing and then get my thread through there so I'm pretty sure that you get the gist of this I'm just going to finish this off cure Hannah up so after we finish curing Hannah's got a skeleton on there and you can see it's not it's not even but what it's done is it's provided that support so that my gold leaf or, or copper leaf um, doesn't lose its kind of dimension its 3d property all I'm doing is it's just the usual thing when you're encapsulating of starting out with your ball and then working it down the nail and I'm sure you know the drill by now you want to concentrate on the apex to just get quite a kind of domed appearance and trust me that will make the edges look slimmer than they probably are um, and then before we cure we're gonna do the old uh, upside down to let gravity help us along. We are all cured up and encapsulated now and you can see that I've refined the surface of Hannah's nail and I've just applied some base coat on there after I've filed. Let's just get a coat of this grey on and this is halo polish. Now I'm not going all the way to the edges because there's no point in making my life hard for me in trying to cover this up with subsequent coats. So Hannah's all cured up now. Um, this is just V89 as cured and I'm just wiping off the tacky layer just to give something to kind of key to. We've got our water and we've got our brush that's that's got a little something to it so that it'll suck up that water. Um, just load it up with a bit of water and mix it up with a bit of your white acrylic paint and you can just buy any old white acrylic paint and I'm just gonna roughly put a squiggle on there and then kind of like opposite way just there and get rid of my excess fill up with water and then really just dredge the water on there and it's important that you do this 
while it's still wet it just makes it easier if you kind of dilly dally a little bit and it's not quite um, wet it's started to dry up then that's okay you can get around it but basically all I've done is I've just dried off my brush now so that it'll suck up any excess moisture so that we end up with outlines see that and the key to this is just to have like a, a light touch and to keep kind of going in with the water notice that I've just left the water as it lies on my other one while I kind of concentrate on getting this one to the finished article and that's literally all I'm doing is I'm putting water on drying off my brush and then sucking that up and just remember that this is going to be blurred a little bit because what we're going to do is over this when it's dry we're going to apply some um, of the original color which is gel bottle v89 had some um, top coat added to it and just to kind of like blur the whiteness down a little bit and make it look a little bit more organic so um, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and I'll show you there's my little stamping mat um, just the back of a stamping mat with my V89 and I'll just use one of my Taclon art brushes which you'll have noticed I also use for my gel application they're really really handy um, and it's about that kind of opacity that you want so just a bit and don't be too perfect on how you apply this because if you have it a bit thicker in some areas and thinner in others you're going to get a really really nice kind of like modeled effect anyway so see that that is a bit uneven but I really like the way that that looks. So I just used a bit of a matte top coat. Um, it's only there to like really seal the color in. And here we go, we've got an A file and it's on like a, a low um, speed. And I've just got a fine drill bit here. And what we're basically gonna do is just gently break through the surface. And I'm gonna be kind of working roughly between these lines. But we basically just want to have like a, a central kind of negative space in the money. So there you go, you can see the white layer, which is the color that's immediately beneath the green and it's starting to come through there. And I would just say like kind of go easy while you're doing this. Take your time and I'm not putting any pressure on there whatsoever. And if we have a look at this one here, you can see like, don't try and be like too matchy matchy, just follow like an organic shape. And on the other one, I kind of like left a little island in it, which I think I'm gonna do on this one, but I'm gonna leave it in a different place. And you can do this by hand as well. I just find it's quite a bit easier to do with an e-file. Well. It's not easier it's just quicker and there you can see that the rose gold is starting to come through yay so I'm just gonna finish this off off screen and just to prove it to you as well if you want to hand file let's try not to knacker my uh, my design see it does come off quite nicely so you can do this without an e-file it's just a little bit fiddly because of course you can't be as precise and maybe you wouldn't be able to like kind of leave like a little island in the middle of your geo there so I'm just gonna finish this off and then what I do is I top coat twice the first time I top coat with the one with a um, tacky layer just to kind of level out the area and provide something to grab to and then I'll go in with my um, gel bottle no wipe super shine and here we are with the finished look and isn't she cute so this is hannah with her honeybee and geode um mani with clear jelly stamper and bundle monster stamping the lovely holographic files and let's just take a look at those geodes together look at those i'm really really pleased with those actually um tooting my horn a bit there and a shout out as well to Angel, uh, twice star. Um, she talks about tooting a horn. 
Um, she did me a huge, huge favour by um, recording that blue quartz money um, inspired by my uh, rose quartz. So thank you so much. And um, I've met some of your lovely subscribers virtually, of course. Um, and yeah, I, I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoy your videos and um, I'm going to keep watching you. So I hope that you're watching this and that you enjoy it too. So anywho, enough waffling. They're the nails. Hope you like them. I had such fun making these and Hannah really deserves this mother of all money. So I hope you enjoyed this money and thank you for watching and I will see you next time.